women will change their standards for men that they are super attracted to. I was 18 years old, I was working a part-time job, and I started dating this girl that worked at my job also. Her name was Trina. A few weeks later, after Trina started working at the same part-time job, she also had someone else that she knew that started working there as well, and it happened to be her stepmother. Her stepmother, for the sake of this video, we're going to call her stepmother Claire. Me and Trina, we only dated for just a few weeks and then we just broke up because it was very much a just teenager relationship. We didn't really, we weren't in love or anything like that. I think we just thought, but we both were like very attractive as people and we just tried it out just to see and then we just kind of broke it off shortly after, maybe a month. After we broke it off, I ended up working a shift with her stepmother a few weeks later and we were in a very quiet place for the job that we were working at and I got into a conversation with the stepmother Claire and I asked Claire because since this was Trina's stepmother she had to be she was older than me much older than me I was 18 this person was 30 I said hey why are you working this job I know why I'm working this job because I'm an 18 year old about to go to college and this is like a part time job. But I said, why are you working this job as a, and I didn't say this out loud, I didn't say as a grown woman, but in my head I had to think that. Claire starts explaining that her husband, he, he makes decent money where he owns maybe a franchise somewhere around the city and he pays for everything else. So he provides pretty much everything else for her lifestyle except that if she wanted to buy extra purses and like very small things to um i guess like little small trinkets and material things that she had to purchase those things on her own because her husband would only pay for specific things and then i responded by oh okay well i guess that makes a bit that makes sense and somehow she got into talking more about her husband at the time i did not see anything wrong with what she was doing but she started telling me about how she didn't really get a lot of attention from her husband and i was playing into her emotions by telling her that i was very surprised to hear that i told her that i thought she was very attractive and i couldn't imagine that a man that was with her would treat her in a way that doesn't make her feel special at this time i was running game on her without me even knowing it i was only 18 at the time so i didn't really know a lot about how you could manipulate a woman's mind mentally to make them feel more attracted to you and this was when i first started to learn that wives especially unhappy wives are low-hanging fruit when it comes to dating and relationships and also guys you should just stay away from wives and this story is going to tell you why once I started giving her compliments, telling her how beautiful she was and how surprised I was that her husband wasn't treating her the way that she felt that she should be treated, and she also told me there was a lack of intimacy, she was shocked by the fact that I thought she was attractive. And other people that work at a job, they would probably say, I would say probably maybe 50% of the people would say that she was a looker or she was decent enough that you could probably get into a relationship with and she was um different ethnicity she was a uh, latina so to me she was very beautiful had long black hair and um, had a nice body so this lady then started becoming more attracted to me all of a sudden despite the fact that i had dated her stepdaughter just a few weeks ago claire starts explaining to me that she is flattered by my compliments and the way that i actually think that she looks attractive and then she starts saying, you know what? I think that you're pretty attractive too. I just never said anything. And me, I'm very surprised at this point as well because like I said, this woman's 30 years old and at the age of 18, I'm not really expecting any type of action at all from a 30 year old woman. So now I'm thinking, whoa, what's going on here? And then I'm also at work. So I'm trying to be careful of what position I put myself into. So the lady Claire, she gets into details about thoughts that she's had about me every time I've been around her stepdaughter and fantasies she's had about me coming over to the house and hoping that one day she could have me. And this blew me away. I was like, I don't even know what to do with all this because this is a married woman. And plus, I'm already kind of intimidated by the fact that this woman is much older than me. But eventually what happens is throughout the next few weeks, we start developing a relationship. And 
the relationship played out in a way that basically she would do everything in her power to make herself more attractive to me. She would start wearing perfumes that she normally wouldn't wear. She'd wear them to work. She even changed her types of underwear that she'd wear just so she could show me at work. She would bring me free drinks and food out of work without me asking. Like I didn't ask her to do these things. All of these things were to get my approval. She was trying to get validation because basically her husband was not giving that to her. At this time, I didn't understand really all this that was going on. I just thought it was kind of cool, but then also very creepy that the 30 year old lady was liking me. I had no idea what to do about this at the time because although she was an attractive lady, I always kept in the back of my mind that this lady has a husband and if I don't be careful, who knows what could happen to me. I'm only 18 years old and her husband is a grown man. One day it got to the point where she asked me to give her a kiss after we got off a shift at work and I told her, hey, I don't kiss people that smoke. She smoked cigarettes at the time. And she said, really? I said, yeah, that's one standard that I have. I don't even date women that smoke. And you wouldn't believe what happened is maybe about a month later, she came to me and asked me for a kiss again. And I told her the same thing. Once I told her that, she said, you know what? I don't even smoke anymore. I said, you're telling a lie. There's no way you just stopped smoking. You used to smoke a month ago. People don't just stop smoking. So I went and verified with her stepdaughter who still worked at the same job. And believe it or not, her stepdaughter confirmed and said, yes, she has quit smoking. She hasn't smoked a cigarette in three weeks. And I'm blown away by this complete, uh, this, this story. I'm like, there's no way. And this woman is doing all these things just to impress me, just interested, keep me interested in her. And the craziest thing about it is you have to remember that this woman is married and she's still doing all these things. Like, why does she want my approval? There are some things that you have to factor in based on this story is that one, she already has her house, her living expenses provided for her and the husband's taking care of everything. She's basically in a grown woman situation. Why would you want a, a small like teenager man basically? Why would you want a teenage man that's like he's 18 so I don't even have life experiences. I don't have money obviously because I'm working at the same part time job as you. I don't have any stable place to live because I'm living with my parents at this time because I was just about to head off to college. So I also had a car, but I didn't even own that car or anything at that time. So like factoring in all these different things that her husband does have, you could start to realize that this woman doesn't care about any of these standards that you would think a grown 30 year old woman would have to care about in order to deal with a man. It didn't make any sense to me, and that was also the scary part about all of this. In the end, me and this lady, we made out a few times, and we touched all over each other sometimes after the shifts from work, but we actually never engaged in the full-on sexual activity. I overall realized that it's just too much of a risk for me to even get that far with her because she is married, and even some of the times when we were messing around, I always thought, what if her husband found out, or if he caught me, I'd probably be dead, and then is this even worth it at this point? And I knew that I could already attract other younger women my age, so I just felt like, why don't I just focus on that? And plus, I was very happy that I was moving away to college soon because then I didn't have to worry about her, even though she still wanted to keep in contact with me. However, this taught me a valuable lesson at a young age that no matter what women like from other men, if they're really attracted to you, then a lot of that stuff just goes out the window because what's attractive to a woman specifically is going to matter than some of the other more tangible things that we think all women are going to like. Like having your own car, your own house, your own money, things like that, and being more stable financially. Yes, overall women do like that, but at the same time, if you have other qualities that women value and you make them feel really good, since women are emotional creatures, you can win in the end or it might work just temporarily in order for you to attract a woman.